हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर अनुभा खरे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी चंगू खाना ठाकुर कॉलेज न्यू पनवेल द टॉपिक ऑफ माय डिस्कशन इज टेक्निक्स इन प्लांट टिश्यू कल्चर द प्लांट टिश्यू कल्चर इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ टेक्निक्स यूज फॉर द रीजनरेशन ऑफ प्लांट्स बाय यूजिंग आइदर रूट टिप शूट टिप एंथर और सम अदर एनी एक्सप्लांट ऑफ ऑफ द प्लांट टिश्यू and regenerating into a new plant and it requires sterilization of complete nutrient medium and complete sterilization conditions the plant tissue culture experiments are carried out in complete well furnished lab it requires air conditioned room laminar air flow hood autoclave refrigerator uh, uh, then incubator weighing balance uh, then water uh, water bath hot plate and plant growth chamber the pictures are there for the plant tissue culture lab uh, and the lady is sitting in the laminar air fluid and performing the plant tissue culture experiment the plant tissue culture medium is uh, uh, mostly which is used in this uh, uh, ex- these experiments are murashig and skook medium the medium comprises of uh, carb- carbohydrates and energy sources nitrogen sources phosphate sources and other macronutrients <coughs> the micronutrients uh, are also used which are going to be in trace amounts then it also requires some amino acids then also requires plant growth regulators like auxins cytokinins gibberellins abscisic acid etc in little amount so we have to add all the you know, nutrients in a uh, in a flask add 1 liter of uh, distilled water and we have to sterilize in an autoclave the explants uh, which are used in the plant tissue culture experiments the explants are uh, the young excised part of the either roots or shoot tip or axillary bud or apical meristem anther or ovary etc sterilization of an explant can be carried out by either a sodium hypochlorite solution calcium hypochlorite solution then either 70 to 95% of alcohol and 0.1% of hgcl2 the plant tissue culture techniques different types of plant tissue culture techniques are callus culture micro propagation somatic embryogenesis uh, soma clonal variation agrobacterium mediated uh, cell transfer uh, transgenic crops then we have uh, protoplast culture and cell suspension culture for different types of uh, secondary metabolites the basic steps which are involved in plant tissue culture are first preparation of suitable nutrient medium so the nutrient medium is completely uh, it has to be prepared with all the ingredients and it has to be uh, autoclaved and sterilized then it requires a s- next step is selection of explant the explants which are the excised part of the either root tip shoot tip or uh, leaves or uh, anther or pollen or apical meristem it has to be completely sterilized uh, by the use of different types of uh, sterilizing agents and uh, then we have to select those type of explants the next step is uh, inoculation or transfer of the uh, explant into the uh, medium into the medium which which can be either in the uh, flask or in the test tube once the proper uh, transfer inoculation has been done it has to be transferred in the incubation uh, for uh, or in the growth chamber the growth chamber has uh, completely it has to be made up of uh, all the proper light intensity with uh, 16 hours of photo period and with proper 50 to 60% of relative humidity the next step is uh, we have to incubate it for around 2 uh, to 3 weeks next step is regeneration after proper incubation of the plant of the tissues the plant will get regenerated into uh, uh, into a young, into young uh, ro- roots and young shoots etc and then this these plantlets small plantlets have to be transferred for the hardening of the uh, of the plant hardening is uh, acclimatization of the plantlet to the environment so we have to tra- uh, we have to transfer the plantlets into the uh, field conditions and that is known as plantlet transfer so these are the basic steps for plant tissue culture this uh, diagram is of uh, somatic embryogenesis now what is somatic embryogenesis somatic embryogenesis means here 
the regeneration of a plant we have to produce a plant with the help of uh, vegetative cells and not with the reproductive cells like anther or pollen grains here we have to use the vegetative cells or we call it somatic cells and we are going to develop it into a new plantlet so we are going to produce an embryo which has been produced by the uh, by the vegetative cell so it plays a critical role in clonal propagation and it is a powerful tool for synthetic seed production and also germplasm conservation and cryopreservation now here uh, the explant or the seed has to be selected the cell it will multiply very fast and it is going to form cell clump or mass of cells then it has to be transferred into the first medium which is uh, uh, known as for the initiation of embryogenesis now here we have to uh, we have to take care of the different types of uh, plant hormones like auxins and cytokinins ratio only then we are going to be able to induce the embryogenic cells now these embryogenic cells are going to be transferred into the second medium which again we have to take care of the proper uh, auxin and cytokinin ratio and this medium is mainly for the maturation of embryos. So first stage we have three stages here. Uh, first stage is known as the globular stage in which the uh, induced cell is going to multiply very fast and it will look like a ball like structure which is known as globular stage. The second stage is known as the heart stage. And the third stage, which will it will uh, elongate some more uh, more times, and it is known as the torpedo stage. And then finally, it is going to form a plantlet. So this is the uh, about the somatic embryogenesis, and it has uh, wide applications in forestry, in uh, different uh, improvement of the plant varieties of the plant. And here we can also get varieties of the plants uh, in different. Uh, season in the off season also the rare varieties of fruits and vegetables can be uh, we can commercialize it and we can uh, get it now uh, the next step is callus culture now the callus culture is the amorphous mass of cells produced by the continuously dividing plant cells and induced on the media containing relatively uh, different uh, high concentration of auxin or a combination of auxin and cytokinin under in vitro conditions so this diagram is about the uh, carrot and from the carrot uh, cells we are going to induce the callus formation so again here we have to uh, take the uh, freshly uh, fresh carrot and it has to be cut into small pieces then we have to take the cambium of the callus then it has to be placed on a specific specialized medium containing auxins and uh, cytokinin good ratio of auxins and cytokinin which will help in the induction of the callus now once the callus is being formed which is continuously dividing mass of cells and uh, then once callus is formed it has to be uh, we can induce it to for the formation of rhizogenesis that is first formation of the rhiz uh, rhizoids or the roots or else we can also uh, induce it for the formation of the shoot that is known as collagenesis and then it can be uh, regenerated into a new plant and finally we have to transfer it to the field conditions for proper acclimatization to the environment Now the next uh, technique is known as the soma clonal variation. Now the soma clonal variation is the variation in the plants which can be seen usually when uh, there is continuously division of uh, plant cells which are taking place during somatic embryogenesis or uh, naturally also these variations are observed in so in the plants so the variation can be uh, seen phenotypically as well as it it is uh, it may be genotypically also and it has been observed in apple tomato sugarcane potato and strawberry now these soma clonal variations these variations uh, may be phenotypically observed like in case of uh, it can be in case of the fruit variety it may be in the case of the leaf size may increase or the internodal size may increase or the plant yield may also increase so these soma clonal variations may be uh, it may be in helping in the improvement of the uh, crops quality of the crops it can also produce different varieties of uh, we can also produce disease resistant plants herbicide resistant plants or environmental stress resistant varieties of the plants can also be produced by the soma clonal variation and selection of the variants 
the next technique is known as micro propagation this technique it uh, in this technique we are able to produce the clones of the uh, thousands of clones of a single plant by the method of plant tissue culture either by gallus culturing or by um, uh, somatic embryogenesis or by micro propagation technique we are able to produce same type of the similar type of the plants hence it is also known as true to type propagation or we can uh, also call it uh, micro propagation and true to type uh, propagation the next one is agrobacterium mediated gene transfer in plants the agrobacterium is a rod shaped gram negative soil bacterium and it is a uh, highly used in the plant tissue culture for producing transgenic varieties of the plants now these uh, this agrobacterium it is also known as natural engineer of uh, plants Okay. so we are able to produce the transgenic variety of the plants by using the ti plasmid that is tumor inducing plasmids now the plant tissue culture experiments are we can produce rare and endangered varieties of the plant species we can produce herbicide resistant varieties of the plant we can produce disease resistant varieties of the plants large scale production of plants can be produced in liquid medium or in the suspension medium for the production of uh, valuable component compounds like perfumes uh, or uh, uh, tannins phenols etc phenolics etc micro propagation technique is widely used in horticulture and agriculture and uh, forestry also we can produce hybrid variety of the plants by protoplast fusion and we can develop transgenic plants by the use of agrobacterium tumefaciens okay. thank you